Hello, Andrew. Uh, hello, Ali. Let's jump to the social network. Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. How about now? You're still wired in? I want to have your take mm. on being outgunned, outshot by Dylan O'Brien. You signed the paper. <laughs> I think it's not cool when yeah. people do that. You're going to blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. It's going to be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It won't be like you're not a part of Facebook. You're not a part of Facebook. My name's on the mask, hey. You might want to check again. They see your performance and go, <sighs> top that. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Watch this, guys. Yeah, no, I, I, listen, I mean. 40 takes that took you and he does it and I think one. Probably one. You better, better lawyer, lawyer up, up asshole, because I'm, I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back from everything. Probably one. Doesn't show. Just as good. <laughs> if not better. <laughs> and handsomer. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm glad you said it. It would have been awkward if I had. Yeah, yeah. but I knew you were going there, so I had to get there first. <laughs> no, I mean, like, what is it? Uh, homage or, or uh, is the greatest compliment? Is that a thing? Get him out of here. It's okay, I'm good. The flattery <laughs> is the sincerest compliment, form of compliment. I'm, again, words. <laughs> words. Words. And ideas. No, I love him. I think he's so talented. Um, and I and that I just thought that was very, very cool. It was very cool. It and was that, cool. I mean, that scene itself, there must be lines from that script that yeah. stick in your mind forever. Oh, my God. He's such a great writer, isn't he? He's just the best at Aaron Sorkin. And... That, that Prada line? Yeah. Uh, it's incredible. It's because I froze the account? You think we were going to let you parade around in your ridiculous suits pretending you were running this Sorry, company? Sorry! My Prada's at the cleaners! Along with my hoodie and my fuck you flip-flops, you pretentious mm. douchebag! It's incredible. And I love, I love how, I remember me and Jesse saw the first, saw, we went to the premiere and we saw it and we were both so riddled with neuroses. And I think we were just also feeding off of each other's neuroses. I think we both got like exponentially more neurotic just by being in the same company as each other. When I talk to Jesse, genuinely, yeah. it's like this yeah. magnet. Yeah, I know. It's like addictive. It's, it's, it feels, it feels almost erotic to get, <laughs> to get like for your, for, to, to, for like your self doubt. It's just like, oh yeah, I can feel it all so deeply. That much angst. How much angst and self-loathing can we really get into? Um, and I think b b by the time the premiere came along, we were both just so riddled and and kind of the same person. We were like, yeah, it's shit, it's shit, it's shit. You were shit, yeah, I was shit, yeah, yeah no, I was shit. No, you were pretty bad though. Like, and, and, and everyone else was like, it's the greatest movie of the century. This century. And we were all like, we were just like, again, me and Charlie, we were just sat in a corner looking at a wall. <laughs> Just like no reason, just just because we were scared little boys. <laughs> just self-loathing. Yeah, just terrified. But then, like, I think we we came around to loving. I definitely came around to loving. Oh, the film. it's stunning. Oh, it's incredible. When the no. music kicks in in that scene, shivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him out of here. It's okay. I'm going. I'm, I mean, unreal. And here's the ultimate compliment I can give you. Mm. This is on YouTube. Andrew Garfield is the only person who can make me cry about diluted shares. <laughs> That's a good line. What was Mr. Zuckerberg's ownership share diluted down to? That's a really good line. There's no touching it. It wasn't. What was Mr. Moskowitz's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Sean Parker's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Peter Thiel's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. And what was your ownership share diluted down to? 0.03%. There was a there was a, another tweet that I liked that I did that BuzzFeed. I'm not allowed to talk about someone else's interview, probably. Yeah, of course. Uh, and it was like it was like thirst tweets. Oh yeah. And there was one that I really liked. Was like I want Andrew Garfield to smash a laptop on <laughs> on my tits. <laughs> Woo, that's good. I'm not gonna do that. I draw the line. Nope. I I, I say I liked. I say I liked it. Like, I'm not condoning that kind of behavior. Your ghost account just put a little heart on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not condoning that uh, that's not appropriate, but it's a great sentence structure. It's very funny sentence structure. The funniest people on this planet are not comedians. They are on YouTube, on Twitter, yeah. saying funny stuff. Just living, just living their lives. Eight years. And the time keeps ticking. You need to ask, are you letting yourself be led by fear or by love? Fear, a hundred percent fear. I knew you could dance because you and Emma were in the Radio One studio doing Bombaleo. Yes. One of the best things on the internet. 
This is, this is superb. But I didn't know you could sing. Mm. And as you say, the story goes, your massage therapist lied on your behalf <laughs> to Lin-Manuel Miranda, your mutual friend, mm -hmm. saying, yeah, 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 he can definitely sing, don't worry about it. One year later, you worked it up. Yeah. But, wow, it is so hard for me not to bring up lyrics from songs in this movie. Oh, cool. Because... I'm just gonna do it. Do it. Bo 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 bo. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's in my head, yeah. rent free, all day long. <laughs> this is the life of bo 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 bo. This is the life of bo 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 bo. Must be the same for you. No. You've managed to get rid of them? <laughs> no. I don't believe you. No, I. That, that's very sweet. That's John. He he's he's such a he's a, he he could he could write an incredible melody, an incredible tune, and. They're earwigs, yeah. He was he was incredible. Oh, earwigs, so earwigs, I'm earwigs. sorry. Earworms. Earworms. <laughs> Thank you for words. Words. <laughs> yeah. That was my word favorite. I've got earwigs. <laughs> Is uh, earwig not a thing? Well, it's a creature. Um, not right for this. <laughs> not a descriptor of what I'm trying to no. Revolving door roommates, prick up your ears. Fourteen people in just four years. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Honouring John Larson, what an experience. And you get to hang out in the coolest club on the planet, yeah. which is the Lin-Manuel Miranda Club. Yeah. There must have been days when you're just like, uh, I know I'm not shooting today. Chances are you were shooting every yeah, day. but pretty much. The days you weren't, can we not just like talk about Ren? Everything, yeah, yeah. Ren or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or, because he's such a nerd. I, but it is like hanging out with your seven-year-old best friend from school. Like, it really is that. The prodigiously talented seven-year-old best friend. The, 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 the one that won't stop talking about inane things that you love together. Like, literally. So it's like He-Man. He-Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Thundercats, um, just you name it. Like Rescue all, Rangers. Yeah, totally. All musical theater history, all cartoon history, all hip hop history, all music history, like all cult, all, like he's just a cult. Culture a vault. Vul, vul, cult. Culture? No, culture vulture, that's the phrase. But he is, he's just like, it, it, he's a genius in mind. So he absorbs things so, uh, he's like a sponge still. Again, like a seven-year-old. He can just absorb things. Time is flying and everything is dying. I thought by now I'd have a dog, a kid, and wife. I do think the the Bohemian song, as I call it, erroneously, <laughs> has to have been one of those, I'm so scared, how am I going to get away with this scene? Yeah, yeah definitely. Bo -ba -bo -bo -bo. <laughs> what have been the scenes across your career where you go, I'm dreading doing this, but once I've done it, I feel amazing? Oof. Gosh, there's a lot of them, isn't there? I'm trying to think. Let me have a look. I mean, silence. Got to be ones where you're like, I'm glad I've never got to do that again. Yeah, I mean, the whole that whole film was so hard. Like, not eating was really hard. Like, losing all that weight was really hard. But this, watching everyone die was really horrible. No. <laughs> you said it, sir. You said it. I should tell you, these Christians already trampled and denied their faith at the Inquisitor's office. If they did what you wanted, then let them go. Let them go. They they, they, they did what you wanted, so let them go, please. Why did everyone die for me? Yeah. Or, like, me and my god. It's like, it's not fun. <laughs> oh, the scene with Liam. I was really excited to do that scene, but also terrified because I we, we had done this thing where he was in Taiwan, but I was like, I don't want to see you until I sit down for that scene. I want to mm -hmm. see you coming out because that's... The moment that we've been, that I've been waiting for. <laughs> you say something. Well, I was, you know, f full of dread. What can I say to you on such an occasion? Social network, I, definitely the laptops. That was a really scary scene because I knew it was the emotional climax of the film. How about now? You still wired in? And I know that we were going to do it a lot of times, and I, yeah, it was exhausting, but it was also, you know, it was incredibly gratifying. Yes. How about now? You still. How about now, you still wired in? What other ones jump out at you? I mean, look, I would imagine doing the live stage performance of Tick, Tick, Boom itself. Mm -mm. What can I do? You and a piano, no stress. That was. Fine. I mean, it was it was all it was all stressful and fun. I think it was all that. The scene in Tick, Tick, Boom that was really terrifying was the song Why, which I did in the Delacorte. 
which is me at the piano and that big emotional. I think it's always the big emotional. As actors, I think we have to like convince ourselves to forget that, to not treat any scene any differently, to not try to get to the place where we have to get to, but it's impossible because it does build up. Yeah. When I was nine, my and I entered a talent show down at the wine. Particularly when David, first name terms, uh, is asking for that 40th take. Yeah. You go, uh-huh, what are my lines again? <laughs> yeah, totally. Who am I? Actually, by take 40, that's exactly what you're doing. And you're like, actually, this is great now because I don't care anymore, David. How about now? You still wired in? <laughs> I don't care about anything anymore. Everything's become meaningless. It's like when you, re when you repeat a word, or like you repeat banana over and over again, yeah. like you do, like we all do at some point in our lives. Words. And it becomes meaningless. Yeah. And, but that, but that, that's what he's looking for. He's looking for you to be liberated from meaning so that you can actually find meaning. He's a real wizard. Yeah, I think he's going to go far. Yeah. When you're screaming at Jesse Eisenberg, I mean, that's, it's kind of therapy, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but no, again, I do need to congratulate you just one more time on Tick, Tick, Boom. I know, as I said to you before, somewhat facetiously, Prettiest Girl at the Dance, but wow, what a performance. Thanks, man. It is such a great film. I appreciate it. And I it. keep trying to tell people, yes, well, it's not sad, but it is also very sad. Yeah. There's not enough time. I went to three friends' funerals last year, and nobody is doing enough. I'm not doing enough. It's so joyful, though. It's about yeah. life. It's about the, the, the beauty and the meaning of life. It's about friendship. It's about community. It's about making art with your friends about things that are meaningful and it's also about accepting loss that loss is part of life i love it because it's about failure and yeah. i think a movie about failure that mm. is also somehow uplifting is a miracle yeah you're right because failure is part of life and yeah. uh, when we look at social media and the world at large no one sees any failure no. everything's perfect that's, that's really well put my hot take those um, are good words strung together thanks man yeah really good yeah sentences i love them what does it take to wake up the generation it would be a tragedy to give up what you have. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.